Today we are going to look at 15 examples of artist websites and portfolios. We'll look at the websites from the point of view of a web designer. I'll discuss what I think works well and what could be improved. Hopefully you'll learn something for your own website or portfolio. In the video description, you can find a link to every website we cover in case you want to explore more. And I've also included what tool was used to build the website. So you can see if it was built with WordPress, Squarespace, Format, whatever. We're going to start with more minimalist websites and then work our way up to more busy and colorful. So let's begin. This is a really nice, simple, minimalist website. Navigation is great. Uh, font size is good. It's high contrast. It's very clear. And when you hover, there's even a little splash of color. This is minimalism done right. Let's take a look at one of the galleries. Cool. One kind of neat thing is they have two versions of their about page, a business version and a fun version. No, no, it's cool. I like this a lot. The homepage collage is actually kind of, it's kind of unique. I think this would be just an image. Let's take a look in mobile. Yeah, it's just an image, which it gets really small on mobile. Um, so that's not great, but I don't know, whatever, it's cool. Oh, I like this copywriting, short, to the point, not some long paragraph that no one's gonna read. This is, this is nice. Um, this isn't a criticism so much as a personal quirk, but I don't love it when a photo gallery doesn't have gutters because my mouse keeps triggering a hover effect and the hover effect kind of obscures the image. I don't know, it's just a personal quirk thing. Uh, now she's swapped the traditional placement of the logo in navigation. Um, I think that's okay because this is a really simple website. If it was more complicated, you might want to just go with the conventional placement. Oh, this is a nice website. Man, these photos are incredible. Let's check out uh, one of his photo galleries. Oh, it looks like... So this is another slideshow. You have to be a little careful with slideshows because... It puts the power in your hands and out of the user's hands. Um, so it looks like he does have some arrows here. Super small. I bet most users won't even know there's an arrow there. And there's no pause button. I mean, at least, at least give a pause button if you're going to have a slideshow. But generally speaking, I think a photo gallery works better because it gives the user the option to go at their own pace. Oh, this is nice. Uh, it's funny, another sidebar navigation. People seem to like sidebar navigations on portfolios. One thing that I do like is she has a heading for this page. It looks like she has it for each of her galleries, yeah. You do see a lot of portfolios, they don't have the heading, which, you know, I get it showcases the photos. Um, but if someone was to get linked directly to this page and there was no heading, they might not really know where they are on the website. So a heading just helps with wayfinding. Okay, another sidebar navigation. Uh, this one I'm not, not as keen on. The text is a little small uh, and the gray is a little low contrast. Um, and it looks like it's just one painting. Oh wait, no, okay, so your mouse cursor changes and you can click through the photos. So this is this is not great. You don't want to make people think to navigate. I would imagine a, a bunch of users get to this page and they don't even realize that there's multiple images to scroll through. People are on your website to discover your painting. So you want to make it really easy for, for them to do that. Okay, this is definitely a bit more minimalist. I almost would actually put a little bit more content on this, but I'm also not crazy about a hamburger menu on, on, on desktop. It's totally fine on mobile, but on desktop, that's just an extra click for for visitors. And I'm also not sure of horizontal scrolling. You don't want to mess with scrolling too much. Keep it familiar. Do what visitors are used to. Nice. Now this is cool. <laughs> the gentrifiers of Catan. I'm displacing your settlement to build a brick. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, this is nice. Though... I've noticed on a number of portfolios built with format that the social media icons are really tiny. This is too tiny. Oh, this is great. <laughs> uh, I really like this. Everything is high contrast. Uh, that's a wonderful logo. Isn't that just kind of fun? 
And it's a great masonry grid. I'm guessing this is built with Squarespace. Because um, Squarespace has great masonry photo galleries. There we go. Finally, a little bit of color. We're moving out of that austere minimalism with black fonts on white backgrounds. Uh, masonry grid is cool. Again, I think this is probably a Squarespace website. Not too much to say, but I think the color really complements her work. <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, great branding. Uh, like I said, I don't love hamburger navigations on desktop because users have to go through an extra click every time they want to see the navigation. And generally, if you hide something, it's going to be less likely to be discovered. Again, this is still definitely minimalist, but we're seeing some color. This is a bit of a different photo gallery. Um, lots of space, which is nice. Users sort of sift through one at a time. This is great. A nice short bio. Your homepage should definitely include something like this. Uh, just identify yourself, but don't overdo it. Keep it short and scannable. One thing I, I don't like is don't mess with people's cursors. Um, it's an accessibility nightmare. Think of links, uh, think of mouse accuracy. Just don't do it. There are other ways to show your brand in colors. Okay, cool. Let's scroll through. Ooh, I don't, I don't love horizontal scrolling, as I've said. Um, and I especially don't like that it's kind of obscuring the menu. Don't mess with people's ability to navigate your website. I, there's definitely something rock and roll about this photographer, so maybe it's kind of intentionally messy, but yeah, the web designer in me says don't mess with the navigation. This is nice. Uh, he's really using color to his advantage on this portfolio. Um, it's very complimentary, especially since his work has like a real sunny vibe to it. Now, I'm kind of picking nits, but I did not notice his navigation at first. It's a little hidden, but yeah, that's picking nits. Oh, cool. Okay. This is very colorful, but right away, this is breaking a, a cardinal sin. Don't obscure navigation. If I need to hover to see what the link says, um, that's a problem. You're making it more difficult for people to discover things on your website. Uh, this is doubly bad because remember on mobile, there is no hover. So these links will just stay obscured. The other big thing is that this menu is, is like not at all obvious. It's very unconventional. So it's going to be invisible to most users. You want to keep things like scrolling and navigation conventional. You don't want to mess with a, a person's ability to get around your website. In her defense, she's pretty clear. She says, let's make something fun. So she's trying to do something fun with this website. Uh, it's just from a web design perspective, obvious wins every time. Uh, I mean, she's shooting Harry Styles, so she's obviously quite talented and doing, doing quite well. So uh, take my criticism with a grain of salt. Okay. This is kind of classic, right? You wouldn't necessarily call it a modern design. And I, I don't mean that as a criticism. Uh, because it's simple and straightforward. Uh, it's just not the austere white minimalism we've been seeing. You know what? It kind of suits, suits her work. Her work's kind of nostalgic. So th this might not be a modern design, but I wouldn't necessarily update it. Uh, it's not broke, so don't fix it. Once again, you can find a link to every website we cover in the video description. And I've also included what tool was used to build the website. Hope that was helpful or at least interesting. Uh, and thank you for watching.